you all must be aware that the Department of Immigration is processing onshore applications very, very quickly. For example, the 887 visa, the people who have applied last September have got the grant this month, which means it's taken less than 10 months now. That's a very, very good news. So I've got a really um, exciting news for each one of you who are planning to apply now. Many people get disappointed because of the travel ban, but they don't understand the entire process and the exact timeline what it takes. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you the entire series that I'm going to be doing in the forthcoming weeks where I'm going to tell you all the steps and how to fill each application, how to fill out each template, how to draft each and every recommendation letter, every step of immigration in the forthcoming series. So you all don't have to pay consultation fees to different consultancies or scam agencies and lose your money. So we are going to do this together in different steps. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on because it's going to be value bombs every day coming to your inbox, straight to your inbox if you've subscribed. So don't forget to subscribe and towards the end, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite secret sauce, which has helped me with my success in Australia. Okay, I didn't follow it when I was in India, but I've learned it. I've followed it and it's helped me heaps in my personal growth and professional growth. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you five steps that anyone can do or should do today or in these times to get migrated to Australia in 2021. 2020 will be our preparation phase. What we have to prepare, I'm going to be sharing with you in detail. And 2021, I'll see you all in Australia if you're going to follow all the five steps that I'm going to tell you today and follow my immigration series that's coming just for you. The immigration series will equip you with all the knowledge that is required for you to file your entire visa process all by yourself. So I'll be going over different documents, how to draft them, how to apply with specific step-by-step -step information. I've got a separate video that talks about how to apply for a visitor visa in 15 minutes, literally 15 minutes. If you have all the documents in your hand, you can just upload and you can start applying for visitor visa for your parents, for your spouse, for your children, anybody by yourself. So it's as simple as that. Everybody, even if you go to a consultant, all that the consultant is going to do is log on to a particular portal and he's going to upload all the documents that you gave him in a scan format by himself. All he knows is where to upload and how to upload. That's it. So it's just for that particular process. It They, they charge so many lakhs of rupees uh, to do that whole process. So I'm pretty sure it is um, you know achievable by anyone, but it's just a matter of time. We do, nobody has time. Because I was in my maternity break, I utilized my time and I was completely engrossed in this whole process and I did it by myself. So if you have time constraint, obviously understandable, you could go to someone who's reliable, who's got good testimonials, meaning real success stories of people whom you know, and then you could do that. That's up to you. It, it comes to a personal decision. But my idea is to educate you and empower you with all the tools that you would need to file your own visa. Okay, so let's do that this entire week and in the forthcoming weeks. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn the notifications on to be instantly notified of my new videos. So let's get started with today's video. So in today's video, basically, I was going to answer the question, well, how long is it going to take for Australia to open up the borders for offshore applicants? So people from overseas who are not in Australia. At the moment, the department is focusing on applicants who are onshore. So who are applying from Australia. So it could be an 887 visa. It could be partner visa. It could be any other type of visas that are applicable for onshore applicants. And the turnaround time is really quick. So people who are here, they are getting their visas very, very quickly, which is a good thing. You know, you have paid taxes. You are here for so long. You've paid taxes, but you don't get any benefits from the government. So it's very good. I'm really happy for people who have got their grant in 10 months, nine months, and they post their success stories on various uh, platforms. All right. So what is that you could do now at this time? If you're sitting at any other part of the world other than Australia, what is that you can do to strengthen your application? to get your foot at the door 
to have your entry into Australia, whatever you call it. So the very first step that I want you to do is get on to different expat forums, register yourself and just look at the different uh, people's questions, different answers and also try to network. Okay, so basically step one is networking on expat forums. So what it basically does is give you ideas about the different questions that people have, different answers that they give. But you have to always take that information with a pinch of salt because everyone's case is different. Everyone's case officer handles it differently. So the scenario that I had might not be for you. So don't take any immigration step or any immigration news that you get as a generalized or a generic approach. It is always customized. It differs from case to case. So understand this very, very clearly. The idea of me telling you this is you will get an overall general idea of the different kinds of questions and different types of answers on expat forums. Okay, so that is a very good starting point if you want to get on to the immigration world. Step two is basically understanding the complete life cycle of migration process. Like I told you, you have to basically have a flow chart in your head or on a paper. Write down the first step that I have to do is this. To step two that I have to do this. So I have a separate video where I've typically explained what are the different documents required? How to prepare documents based on whatever stage you are. So there are a lot of other videos that I've done, which will be like different pieces of puzzle that you can basically connect. But I know it's hard. So that is the reason I told you I'm going to be starting this immigration series where I'll tell you step one, this is what we'll be doing. Step two, this is what we're we'll doing. So I will prepare a separate documents. Uh, so I will draw the flow charts and explain to you every step how each step is done. So this whole process of immigration, this whole life cycle of immigration should be in your head. Okay, so that is the second step, understanding the entire life cycle of immigration process. Step three is obviously preparing for IELTS or PTE. That is a very, very important step. If you are very hesitant to start it, then I have no idea how to motivate you because so many people have come here, uh, you know, they, everybody has written it. So it is a simple process. It's all your mindset. I, I can't stress enough about the mindset. And I'm, I had already promised that I'm going to be doing a separate series about PT lectures or PT lessons in Tamil. But I know this particular channel, I've got around 400 subscribers now from different countries and English as a common medium of uh, language has reached so many people. So I don't want to disappoint them by focusing on one regional language, but I don't want to disappoint the people as well. So I've started a separate Tamil channel. I'll leave the description below. So please make sure to follow that particular channel. So that's where I'll be sharing my Tamil PTE videos in that particular channel. Okay. So if you want Tamil PTE uh, videos, make sure to subscribe to the other channel and follow me there. And I'm going to be sharing that PTE series, which has been long pending. I apologize for the delay, but I'm going to be starting that because I was only trying to figure out how to insert so many Tamil videos in this channel. So it might lose focus. It I might be disappointing other people who might not understand the language. So, you know, um, it's hard to satisfy different type of people. So I've tried my best. I've tried to segregate one uh, channel specifically for English and the other one for Tamil. All right, so that's your next step, English exam preparation. Step four, obviously, after coming here, we all need a job. So it's good that you have realistic understanding, realistic idea about the job market in different states. All you have to do is go to seek.com.au and type in your job occupation, select different states. Most of us will be applying for 491 visa, which is a regional visa. You can stay anywhere other than Melbourne, Sydney and Brisbane. Leave these other three uh, cities and put any other cities and just try uh, to search and see which state and which city has got more opportunities in your field. If you're a marketing specialist, put marketing. If you're a chef, you can try chef. If you are in the digital marketing, web development, school teacher, anything, whatever is your profession, just 
put it in that seed.com.au which will give you a realistic image or a realistic picture of the job market in different states because 491 is a very very flexible visa you can stay anywhere other than these three cities so you will get an idea of where to move after you get your grant which it's very important to pre-plan your stuff okay so that is our step four step five based on the job wherever we get we have to understand uh, the analyze the lifestyle of the place and city where we are going to move so how, how do we understand the lifestyle we can go to gumtree.com so i've got a separate video where i talk about different real estate uh, how to search for a job even without before coming to australia so check that video you will know how to search for different suburbs even if you don't know the names of the suburbs i've showed you options how to do that okay so just go to that video and check out housing prices how much rent you'll be paying what is a kind of houses it's very exciting even before i moved i was so excited i was going to darwin for sure so i was looking at the houses most of the houses were in acres you know um but but that is something which is not true i stayed in a small two-bedroom apartment but if i wanted an acreage i have to go really far but you know the kind you start imagining that is the thing that we're going to cover next so you start imagining you start thinking about all these things and you know you start visualizing your life which will help you to get your dream life okay i strongly believe in that that's well, the last thing that i'm going to cover so these are the five things that you can do during this time to prepare your best food to enter into australia quickly summarizing step one is networking on expat forums with people who already have knowledge about it who have gone through that process who will be helping you with their suggestions but always make sure you take the positive side of it neglect the negative side of it and step two is always understanding the entire life cycle of immigration process i'm going to be doing that work for you so don't get scared and step three is preparing for ielts and pte if you want pte lessons in tamil make sure to follow my tamil channel and step four is getting your job market research done by seek.com.au based on different cities and step five is understanding the lifestyle of the city where you have most number of jobs we don't want to just come to any australian state or city without having a job so these five steps will help you to put your best foot forward okay and very very last step the secret sauce that i wanted to discuss how to get your australian life is by manifestation okay i'm not a philosophical person but i strongly believe in manifestations and affirmations the power of your positive words the power of your positive thoughts the more you write about it my brother did it he didn't even know about these terms even i didn't know at that time i was in school sometime my elder brother he wanted to go to uk so he had a huge picture of london London Bridge in our living room every day he used to look at it he used to dream about it and he went there of immediately I think after one year or a year and a half he was there walking in London Bridge for sure so this is the power of affirmations this is the power of manifestations so if you want to live in Australia I want you to write down with specifics okay I will visit the you know Oprah Sydney Oprah uh, house in uh, February 2021 so don't think about any logics here okay you know how the borders are not even open how will i go there don't think about such things i don't have money so there should be no negative thoughts that is contradicting in your head so all that you're saying all that you're believing all that you are feeling is only positive okay so write everything don't think about how okay so think about why why do you want to go there because of your children you want to close your bank loans you want to have a good lifestyle you want to give a good lifestyle for your parents so that is your why don't think about the how it's always the why and not the how okay so that is one great lesson that i wanted to tell you which has always helped me to reach this level of success in life after i moved to australia is with the power of manifestations and affirmations you can call it daydreaming if you want to but it is proven um, in many people's life the success is through affirmations and manifestations because you channelize your best positive energy onto the things that you definitely want so if you want you will definitely get it okay so if you really want it then make sure to um, you know affirm it manifest it in your everyday life in your thoughts in your words in writing every day then you'll definitely get there i wish each one of you a um, very very good luck and positive vibes and i hope to see you all sometime in australian soil soon okay I'll see you all in the next video.